discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I know. I know. Yeah. No. No problem. Nobody wants. Nobody likes all those burnt wieners. So I'll uh, be quick. I. But I do. I like mine well done. So um, the good news here is uh, we spoke with Wage and Hour uh, recently, and uh, we have always kind of felt that if, um, say, Lawton Bronson School or. Um, Bronson paid us uh, to have those guys work, then we would have to pay it overtime. Wage and Hour advised no, because you are going to be paid by, say, Lawton Bronson School. He, they can write a check to the sheriff for the amount. We can give it to the auditor, and possibly we have some drop down boxes or a separate check. What you guys had talked about earlier, that we had found that out today. So I, when I say timing is impeccable, I, we literally just found out that ruling uh, about an hour ago from wage an hour. So I think that would uh, be what you're looking at, is that they would now, uh, and, and the union's all for it. Now here's the other thing that the union is uh, uh, willing to do is quarterly or every six months, uh, we'll all keep track of those hours and they'll send you uh, what I've said, $3 an hour for that vehicle. So if they worked a five hour shift, then you would get the money for the vehicle usage. So I think those are um, some tremendous steps. Our biggest worry all the time was the wage an hour issue. So, so then the contracts would run through the county? Right, that just that exactly what you were saying and just what I know George had talked about early extra, on. It would be extra duty, then it would be, it would be on county. It's, yeah, I mean, that's, well, the, you know, it's, they're, they're, they can't be paid overtime, okay? So what they would be is contracting with uh, Lawton Bronson School. Lawton Bronson School would say, we're gonna write a check to the Woodbury County Sheriff for those hours. That deputy, so may, and this is something I need to work with Pat, is um, Gene over there, we, have, we can have a drop down box of possibly extra duty, that's where uh, those hours were spent and that check could be then sent it wouldn't be part of your payroll check because I think that IPERS would be the issue, Pat, right? It would probably be a separate check. Uh, but please be, feel free. This is just news, so I'm yeah, not sure. Because it, it, it still doesn't sound right. Uh, okay. I think there's some sort of miscommunication taking place. I think that you know, you might be able to do that, uh, work it out something. Uh, but I don't know if the county is paying those employees, uh, they're I don't know how to get around overtime. Go ahead, Greg. I know Greg spoke with them. And, I uh, talked to Steve Archibald this yeah. morning. Um, what he said is, they are not, they are, you are just a facilitator of the pay. That's all we are. So if it's $30 an hour is what Lawton Bronson pays, then the drop down box would be check whatever the title is that you named it. And then the deputy had four hours, he'd be entitled to $120 for that work minus his taxes and stuff that came out of it. He said that's absolutely fine because he's not working on behalf of the sheriff at that time. He's working for at Lawton Bronson. They're the employer, they're paying his wage. Money then comes through. Comes back into the general fund and um, at however it is. I, that hope, I hope it's true. Yeah, I, I mean, we listen, we won't get there till we know everything, but that's just something. Yes, and the Department of Revenue or the whatever. Yeah, well, David, I did it yesterday, and uh, there was a number of problems that David's going to come up with the answers we did or try to. Right. So we'll have to discuss that. Those are, yeah, ongoing. Just want to bring you up to this, something that I think we're at least going. Well, if, if the mechanics are set, All of this should run through the sheriff's department, and that uh, uh, the off-duty portion of it, if that's handled in that fashion, 
and comes through the county and through your department, uh, then that's a legitimate expenditure for, for extra duty. But the other way was not that I Right, that's the way you had concern. And I think that. I think that you can work through those mechanics with, uh, with, uh, with, with Dennis and then with the Department of Revenue and all that, how that works. And then. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, the first spot is to make sure Pat and the wage and hour guy talk and make sure that we're, we're right. But it looks, it looks good. And then Dennis, because we probably have to have a line item there showing that money's right. coming in, all that expenditure. Um, but I think that's just another thought that we've been trying to work on that Greg contacted them and wage and hour said no, because if Lawton Bronson's going to pay you, then they pay you, the sheriff, the sheriff sends it to the auditor, and the auditor then writes a check, takes the taxes out, and all that happens. Or do Sioux City Council has a problem with their off-duty work is what happened here? No, because what happened, like, if, if you know, uh, last night or last weekend, the bike weekend, um, they had a command center, and they kept track of the officers that worked, and then the bike people... Um, paid the Sioux City Police Union, the Sioux City Police Union then cut a check to the respective people that worked uh, at, the, at that event. That's, that's how they do it. I spoke, like I said, I've spoke with different agencies and that's usually how it's done because they don't really want to get in the middle of uh, doing all that, that type of administrative work. There's one police department that does it that way and it's Iowa City. All their um, extra duty work is funneled through uh, the city of Iowa City, I believe, and then at that point they're paid out of that. Probably a separate separate check, yeah, I'm sure. You, you can't derive your IPERS benefits and that, but the taxes would be taken out. So that, I think that, that might be another step that, uh, that we're looking at or trying to resolve the differences. So thank you. We'll get together and get figured out. All right, thank you. I just want to say I'm opposed to any kind of a move like this. I think it's not timely. Oh, we got all my field work to go no. preliminary. We have to do that in order to make a decision. I don't think they should have done it. Well, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, I don't want things to just lay idle without uh, some resolution coming to it. And if you don't investigate it, we don't. Uh, can't look at all, all yeah, and where do you put the employees outside? That will be recess to the uh, alley. Hi, Bob. Go ahead. It was just uh, came out uh, that uh, bill that was signed by the governor to give additional duties to the auditor to, uh, to actually audit. Give the county funds. No.